1920 we took children out of the coal mines. In 2020, the most popular video game on the market is Minecraft. The children yearn for the mines. But children and gamers of all ages don't just yearn for the mines, they also yearn for the fields. And that's where farm sims come in, give you a hoe, and tell you to get to work. Farming simulators, or farm sims, have had a huge impact on the gaming landscape. Growing franchises like Harvest Moon, Farming Simulator, and Farmville, with sales numbering in the dozens of millions. Their influence can't be understated either. Just look at all the games that have their roots in these games. Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing, Heyday, Gardenscapes, Harvest Vela, Forager, Kinseed, My Time at Portia, Portia, however you pronounce that, Story of Seasons, World's Dawn, Traveler's Rest, Garden Paws, My Time at Portia, again, Coral Island, why was that there twice? It seems like these games just keep popping out of the ground. Why is that? I want to focus on farming RPGs specifically to discuss why I think there's a bountiful harvest of these games looking at three major factors. So put on your muck boots, roll up your sleeves, and let's get our hands dirty. But why? Why get our hands dirty? Let's talk about... Different experiences appeal to different audiences based on what motivations they find appealing. Farming RPGs strike a particular niche with three primary player motivations, discovery, expression, and accomplishment. Discovery is the ability for a player to explore new ideas or retread old ideas with newfound knowledge. In farming RPGs, it's usually expressed with fresh crops to grow, characters to get acquainted with, and new ways of interacting with the world. Expression allows players to show off their hard work in the game. Often, this will come in the form of either customization, like creating a character or in-game art, or just through the inherent freedom to play the game as the player wishes. Accomplishment is a rush of euphoria for having succeeded, whether that be with a tangible reward or just a player's own self-satisfaction. Speaking of rushes of euphoria, if you're liking the video so far, I'd really appreciate if you could give the video a thumbs up so that my brain goes burr. Also, I hope you're having a great week. Also, you look lovely today. Accomplishment is the easiest of the motivations to see, and it's present in almost all games. In the context of farming RPGs, it comes from growing crops, slaying monsters, applying knowledge about the game's systems, and ranking up NPC relationships. When players discover new things, express themselves, or accomplish their goals, neurons release the chemical dopamine into the mesolimbic passage. The dopamine travels through different parts of the brain and makes the player feel good. This motivates players to accomplish more goals, which strengthens the connection between neurons, resulting in a positive feedback loop, baby! Dab. Like most well-designed experiences, designers consider the motivations of their audience and blend them together to feed into one another. For example, when players talk to NPCs to learn more about their personality, they might be rewarded with new crop seeds, and harvesting that new crop will give them new abilities. But in order to plant that crop, they might need a new type of fertilizer, which can only be found in a new area of the game by talking to a new shopkeeper who also happens to sell new cosmetic items. Integrated feedback loops like this can be extremely rewarding, and keep players hooked on the gameplay for hours or even days at a time. Speaking of gameplay... The gameplay in farming RPGs can differ from title to title, but some popular mechanics include farming, interacting with NPCs, and increasing stats or player abilities. These all tie back to player motivations and interlocking gameplay loops, but what about them specifically is so appealing to players? One aspect is getting to see progress in real time in a very intuitive sense. Everyone understands the life cycle of a plant or a growing farm animal or a blossoming relationship. So farming RPGs are able to present progress in a very intuitive fashion. It's usually pretty easy to see at a glance how far someone is in a farming RPG because their farm has more and more diverse crops. Getting to plant those crops however players see fit is another big draw to these types of games. A sense of player agency. It's so big, in fact, that when I put out this poll on twitter.com slash Prince Raglan... <sighs> over 50% of the responses I got from players said that a sense of control or playing at their own pace were their favorite aspect of farming RPGs. They place a huge emphasis on player set pacing and goal setting, which allows players of all skill levels to have fun, whether they're going after everything in the community center or just enjoying their farm one in-game day at a time. Now, most games, especially adventure or purely RPG games, vary the mechanics and locations to surprise players and protect them from familiarity. Farming RPGs, on the other hand, use familiarity to their advantage by offering up a routine to follow. For example, in Animal Crossing New Horizons, you have shells to collect, presents to shoot down, villagers to talk with, trees to shake, rocks to hit, etc. Getting into a daily routine like this helps create a positive level of stress, which in turn improves sleep quality, reduces anxiety, and helps keep you organized. I think that this positive effect on player health is huge, which brings me to my last point. 
I think the main reason that farming RPGs, especially over the past three or four years, have seen so much prominence is simply because they're the anti-pandemic. And I don't mean that they're protesting infectious diseases or anything like that, just that they're usually the exact opposite of what we've experienced since COVID-19 hit. For most of us over the past several years, especially in the early stages of the pandemic, we were stuck inside with only our homes as scenery. While many of us were stuck with the same mundane industrial surroundings, farming RPGs offered the saturated, beautiful colors of nature. Instead of sirens and construction, or worse, deafening silence, players got to enjoy beautiful soundtracks, the pitter-patter of rain, and the cheerful chirps of nature. While we were stuck with the harrowing thought of death and disease, isolation and loneliness, farming RPGs are all about bringing things to life and creation. This is true not only of crops and wildlife, but relationships with NPCs and even other people. You can hop into a Discord call with friends and talk about what goals you want to accomplish together. You can explore areas teeming with wildlife and create sustainable farms and watch that progress in real time. I think most critically, the pandemic had a devastating effect on our mental health, inducing a nihilistic sense of dread and anxiety. Farming RPGs, on the other hand, with their player-driven pacing and steady stream of goals to accomplish, give us a sense of agency, that our choices make a difference in the world. They offer players a reprieve from work, maintaining a healthy environment, or a never-ending horrible news cycle. They assure players that, for a moment, you can forget about all that, load up your farm, and pet all of your cows. And I think that's beautiful. Farming RPGs tap directly into player motivations like discovery, expression, and accomplishment to drive player engagement. Clear gameplay loops offer players a sense of agency, and the progress can be explained in real time, helping to reduce stress, connect with one another, and offer a break from the pain of the world. But what do you think? Did I miss anything? What's your favorite part of farming RPGs? I want to thank Paige Lyman and Young Chung Leo for their incredible articles on the subject. I've included links to their articles in the description if you want to read more about their thoughts on the matter. Thank you to all the royal subjects on my Kofi for your continued support, and I'll see you all later. Happy farming!